Hello, once again, right here. The Sharpening Tech TV show. Chunkers that I'm being tired that they don't cut. You know, they, they just pulled the hair very bad. They don't cut like the tip of uh, um, is the problem most of the time. But if you cut in the throat, it's not a problem. You know? So I'm going to show you another way that I use depending on the situation. What I do normally is I get a old, old rabbit, rabbit pellet and I put it on the piece of wood. Then I put the shear right here, right? And the prong starts right here like one inch on the tip. So what I need to do, to do is I need to make more contact between the two blades. But this will break more, most likely easily than this one right here. In my own opinion, you probably have a different opinion. And uh, it will be harder to, to, uh, to bend this one inch right here. So I prefer to do the one that's a little thinner in a different way. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I normally do these babies, okay? You see that they won't cut. So what you need to do, you're gonna need to lift a little bit, not, not like this, but you know, just lift it up a little bit and go right on the tip. you what you're gonna see right here let me see right there's a dark line right there you can see that line from here all the way here that's what I did right now okay I don't want to concentrate right here where the problem is I have to go from here all the way halfway already right? because from halfway to the to the pivot area it's okay so let's slowly close the shear and now we are going to see if this baby will cut okay let's check it out right there oh, I'm having a hard time with the the rabbit is moving too much you know Okay, right there. So, we were fine right here. Now let's check the center. It's fine. Then we continue and we'll still have a problem right there. But the tips is cutting. Check it out. The tip is not pulling anymore. So what we need to do is see start going to the back and now we have a problem right like half an inch after the tip okay so this problem will fix it the same way
Okay. And there's the other part right there. Don't worry about the scratches right there. I'll show you later how to get rid, rid of the, the scratches over there, okay? So let's see. Let's see right here. some fur right here right so I want to make sure there's nothing thick that is going to damage the shape so what you want to do now is you want to lift your, your fur and check and see if it's going to cut all the way through okay and it went through see the whole thing from here all the way across went through and there is no no noisy it's not noisy you know I just like this you know it's just nice you know it take a little effort to to practice with this tool but once you get it, you're gonna avoid a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of um, how you call it a lot of um, a lot of breaking shears, you know. So, good luck.